Hello and welcome back to the Avenza Map Publisher Getting Started video series. This video will show you how to transform a coordinate system using the Map View Editor in Map Publisher. As you can see, I've started by creating a new letter size file in Portrait Orientation. Now I want to import my data, so I'm going to click the Import button. And I'm going to click Browse. And I'm going to select FSA Toronto which is a MIF file that is storing the forward sortation areas of Toronto. Now, before I click OK, I want to take a look at the advanced section of the import window. I can see here that the data is currently using the WGS84 coordinate system. So I'm going to take note of that. I can click OK and it will import. Next, I want to open the map views panel and double click the FSA Toronto map view. This opens the Map View Editor. The Map View Editor allows you to view and change the name, coordinate system, and scale of your map view, as well as change its rotation and position on your artboard. I'm going to change the name of the map view to Postal Code Zones. The Map View Editor is also where coordinate system transformations are performed. To do this, I'm going to check the Perform Coordinate System Transformation box and click No Coordinate System Specified. This brings up the Specified Destination Coordinate System window. In here, I'm going to go to Projected, and then I'm going to go to UTM, and then I'm going to find NAD83. Toronto is in Zone 17, so I'm going to select that one and click OK. The preview pane displays how the new coordinate system will fit to the page. UTM Zone 17 is in a proper projected coordinate system to use for this area. And you can see here that the coordinate system transformation has been performed. Next, I want to edit the scale and position of my map view. So I'm going to go to the map views panel again and double click postal code zones. So now that I'm back in the map view editor, I would like to change the scale of my map to 1 to 35,000. I can do this by typing 35,000 in this box. In the positioning section, I can click the quick alignment tab, which I already have selected here, to make it active. And I can see that there are nine squares in the alignment grid that indicate positions on the artboard. I want my data to be centered, so I'm going to click the center square to reposition the data accordingly. The preview pane now shows the new data extents and the page anchor values have been automatically updated. You can see that my map view is rescaled and repositioned to the center of the page. Finally, I want to rotate the map view, so in the map views panel I am again going to select and open the map view editor. In the angle box right here, I can type 343. I can click OK, and I can see that my map view has been adjusted based on my specification. An important thing to note is that spatial referencing has not been affected just because the map view editor was used to rotate the data. I hope this tutorial was helpful in teaching you how to transform your map views using the map view editor. Thanks for watching.